Well, today we're going to be talking about shovels and digging and uh, post hole digging. Just a lot of a lot of digging. Anyway, there's a there's a large variety of shovels, and I am sometimes asked by people which ones are the ones that they really need for digging, and of course. Depending on the ground, you know, if you have, like we do here in Texas, we've got this really hard ground, and if it hasn't rained in quite a while, then we need a fork to break up the topsoil and to get our way down. Some people call them sharpshooters, some people call them bilduks. You know, that there's probably a half a dozen names. To me it's just a digging shovel. If you don't take care of them by using linseed oil or something on them, this is what happens to them. Now you can buy new new handles for them. I'm going to show you how to get this one out. But in the meantime, we're not going to talk about that right now. I've had probably for about 10 years. It's got a fiberglass handle. This thing's been beat on, pulled on, pulled up, turned over run over everything it's still in great shape it's a little more expensive but it's one of those shovels you just never have to worry about and then of course you've got the pointed shovel this is for when you get everything loosened and you've got to dig you're trying to dig let's just say a uh, let's just say you're digging a 24 by 24 inch square hole about six inches down well, you really have to start getting the dirt out by this. Then you use your your flat blade shovel to kind of get the big bumps out. Once you dig out all the rest of the stuff, this is your this is your final cleanup shovel. Then we have a couple other different shovels over here. We have this uh, let's just say a sprinkler line. It's it's real narrow where you don't have to dig up a 12 inch you know anywhere between a 10 and 12 inch wide hole all you're trying to do is just get down just wide enough and plus you can dig pretty fast with this down about 12 18 inches whatever you need to go here again fiberglass handle then we have these two picks now I like to have both types this is this is one because everybody knows what a pick is for. This one's pretty heavy. Okay, this is an eight pound pick. So this would be great for, you know, anything much heavier than that, a lady wouldn't be able to handle it very well. But this will flat, once you get this thing swinging, it will flat do some damage to some hard ground. This one here, you can use with your small shovel because it's pretty much the same width it's real close to it it's got a little meatier a little fatter pick on it it's not very heavy this one is six pounds so this would be a little easier for a lady to handle but uh, it will do some damage to some dirt and it's great for in in uh, looser soil like sandy soil sandy loam something like that and plus this is really good for busting up rocks or clods or whatever you have but you know if you do you got to wear safety glasses and course gloves this shovel here you can get them 16 you can get them 24 inches wide this is for pretty much just leaves and shrubbery and stuff because it's aluminum it doesn't have a lot of digging power at all. It's mostly just for digging up small amounts of gravel, dirt, whatever. But mostly it's for leaves. It's great for leveling something out. Okay, we're going to start breaking this ground up here. But the first thing, get you some, get you some boots with some good arch supports. Tennis shoes are okay. Sandals are out of the question. 
but tennis shoes they don't have enough meat in the arch to push down on that shovel and then you'll you'll eventually start hurting your arches keep you a good pair of work boots you don't need to wear them every day just whenever you're doing some digging and plus if you drop a shovel on your foot or something you know I mean let's hope you don't do that we're just gonna dig out an area but the first thing I want to do is to put a piece of some kind of a, a heavy plastic or tarp in the area where we're going to be doing our digging to put our to put our dirt on. This way, when you start backfilling or you need to move the the dirt somewhere else, let's just say you got a lot of grass here, you won't be tearing your grass up. Okay, since this ground is hard as a rock, with our fork. And I mean, you can start any way you want to, but I like to start at the front and work my way back. Now we're going to use our pointed shovel and if you can Each time that I'm digging in the ground, I try to go down the exact same amount each time. That way, when you get ready to start clean, clearing this hole out, well, you've, you've got pretty much the depth you want to start with. And we got it pretty darn flat. I mean, I know it's not much, but just to kind of give you the idea on the uses of shovels. All right, but now we got all our, our dirt over here. Whatever we were going to put in there, we've done it. Now all we do now is we come over here and we either are, somebody is loading this into a wheelbarrow or taking it somewhere else. And in this case, we're just going to backfill it, which we've dug a hole. Now we're going to cover it up. 